Welcome to the Dormont Pittsburgh neighborhood tour. This is a suburb in the South Hills of Pittsburgh that is quite popular these days. And um, it is actually one of my hometowns, the other one being Castle Shannon, which we will do at a later date. But um, yes, I definitely do call Dormont home even after all these years. I'm just super in love with it and you will see why in a moment. So I'm starting to catch on that Pittsburgh just has bumpy roads in general. Maybe it's because of the hills. Maybe it's because our infrastructure isn't super great when it comes to roads. There's a lot of bumps and unfortunately potholes in a lot of neighborhoods um, that they seem to be continually fixing but never actually fixing. Um, so again, I really apologize for the bumpy ride. It does seem to be the only way I'm going to be able to show you the neighborhoods that I want to show you. So hopefully it's not too much of a problem. Um, if it is too bothersome, please let me know in the comments below. Obviously we are starting out with Dormont's residential streets today. I will be getting to the more commercial streets, which would be West Liberty Avenue and Potomac a little bit later on. The amount of people living in Dormont was around 8,000 people in 2021. Houses in Dormont are older builds, so that would be 1920s, 1930s, and 1940s, and thus they have a lot of character. As you can see, Dormont, like Brookline, has a very urban feel, which a lot of people actually really love. In addition to it having an urban feel, it is actually very, very close to downtown Pittsburgh, which is about a 15 minute drive north. This is your first flash of West Liberty Avenue. I couldn't get good footage of it on this day because it there was a lot of glare from the sun which was shining very brightly which is not typical of Pittsburgh I would say. Um, but I have a little bit of footage later on in the video that is 
more overcast, which actually lends itself better to some of this footage. And so right here, we're on Potomac, the other street I was talking about that has a lot of commerce. And this is the area of Dormont that I would say is a little bit higher priced when it comes to the real estate, um, maybe because it's so close to Potomac Avenue, but there is a lot of wonderful tree-lined streets back here. When I was growing up in Dormont, I actually used to call them the Espy Streets, which is one of the streets in Dormont that has really large, really nice Victorian houses. And my mom wanted to buy a house on SB when I was very young and it never happened. So I always did feel sort of connected to the SB streets. Can you tell the Dormont is renowned for its bumpy brick roads? <laughs> average home in Dormont is three bedrooms, one full bath, and around 1,500 square feet. The average home sale price in 2021 was $245,000. So down this road, right off McNeely Road, is the high school. You can see it to the right. One of the most amazing things about Dormont is the fact that it is so close to public transportation. It is one of the communities that the red trolley line runs right through. This makes it super easy to get to downtown Pittsburgh. So this is where I get a better shot of West Liberty Avenue. As you can see, you can see both sides of the street and the sun is not impeding the view. There are countless shops and restaurants on this long stretch of road. 
and it is one of the things that makes Dormont so beloved and business owners just love having shops set up here. One of the nice things about Dormont is also that it is so close to Mount Lebanon, which, as I stated before, is the top community in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Coming up here is where you can see um, right where the T, as we call it, runs right through Dormont. And with this route, I am going down to the park and pool area. On your left is Dormont Park. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a pretty huge wooden park. Um, and it is very, very popular with South Hills residents in general. There are also, um, I believe there's tennis courts up there and swings and just a lot of open green area. So I hope you enjoyed watching my tour of Dormont. If you have any questions about Dormont, you know you can always contact me directly. Thanks so much, bye-bye. <laughs>